Hey guys, so remember the questions that you guys asked? Right now I'm going to answer them. So, um, I have them all written down, and thank you guys for asking ten questions. Um, it's okay with me that you answered, that you asked ten. I'm just going to answer them. I'm sorry, Matt Breath, I ran up my stairs. I'm so excited to do this. Okay, so first, these first four questions are by Renaline0429, and she asked, do you use glitter? I... The answer is yes. Oh, sorry. And um, I use Recollections. And um, and what brand do you recommend? I recommend Recollections. Actually, um, this um, I tried resin, and I, th I think it, it like sinks down into the resin. But I do recommend this for like crafts and stuff. But I think I don't know how it works with resin. But you will just have to buy it and see. It's really good glitter. It's small glitter and extra fine glitter. So that's what it is, and I really like this glitter. It's nice. It's pink too. And have you ever tried Martha Stewart before? Um, I have never tried anything of Martha Martha Stewart, but I heard good things about it. And I would like to get maybe a paint like bottle of one for paints or something. But I never tried it before. But I heard good things about it, so I think it might be good. Is Craft Smart Clay good? I would say it is because it does it doesn't. You can't really say if it's good or not good because every block is like different. Like, cause I have um, a yellow block and it's really hard, and and a and a, block, and a red block and it's really hard, and then I have a light green block by Craftsmart and it's really soft. So I don't really know, but I think it's good for beginners, just because you can, it conditions easier than Primo or Fimo. It's way too hard to to condition. Although I am guilty, I have Primo and Fimo clay, but. It's really hard to condition, so I have to roll it out and just and be crazy with this. Um, but Scopey 3 and Crestmar is good to condition, and it's easy. So those are for beginners, if that's what you're asking. And Crestmar clay is good. So. Where'd you get most of your polymer clay stuff? Of course, Michael's, without a doubt, Michael's, and some stuff at um, Hobby Lobby. But I only got cookie cutters at cookie cutters and, like, a block of clay at Hobby Lobby, I think. Um, but... I like Hobby Lobby and Michael's. That's really it. And Joann's, I got some clay too. My first four pieces of clay were from Joann's. It was Granny Smith Apple, Lemonade, um, Red Hot Red, and Candy Pink. That's what I got first. See? So those questions were all by Renaline0429. So now let's move on to Mr. Cuddlebug, um, 18, well, 1800. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of blinded by the flash right that's on my Blackberry, but let's get started with Mr. Cuddlebug 1,800 questions. Okay, so when did you start playing with polymer clay? I didn't start playing with it. I started making it, but um, I started I started almost a year ago. Probably a year ago, yeah, because I started my YouTube account a little bit later than I, than when I started Clay, because I had Clay, then I found out, like, you can start a YouTube account for free, then I made one, and that was on October 12, 2011, so it's almost a year, it's 2012 right now, so it's almost a year, because, um, October 12th will be a year anniversary for my YouTube account. Do you know about Vocaloid by, um, Jalapeno Cupcake, which is my friend Fiona, shout out to Fiona, hi. And do you know about Vocaloid? I have no idea what that is. Empty, I don't know. And these next three questions are by Laylee's Beats that she asked. So what's your favorite nail polish brand? I don't have a lot of it. Um, no, I mean, I have a lot of it. Never mind. I have, um, my favorite nail polish brand is Sinful Colors. I really love it. And I've, I like OPI, too. I had, like, two bottles of OPI. And I like Sally Hansen, too. That's pretty good. I, I think it's really smooth, and uh, Sinful Colors is pretty good, too. I don't like um, the New York Colors, because they're always so light, and you have to put, like, a, co a million... Oh, yeah. My nails are zebra print with the pink. And I also like uh, the nail... The um, NYC or something. It's, a. Uh, I don't know what, what brand uh, the nail polish is, like, the with the um, really thin tips that you can do, like, designs with, but I use the pink. I'm not really sure what the brand was. Oh, actually, here's my case right here, so I'll show you. So, I have two bottles of OPI. This is... Need Sunglasses, and this one's Do You Like It? And I love this one. It's just... I, I just love it. And this one needs a couple coats, too. But 
I use white in the back of it just in case. And now, oh, here, here it is. Yeah. This is by Art Deco. Love them too. And also, I don't really have any sinful colors. Oh, I do. This um, purple one, Dream On. It's really dark. And also, here's the uh, uh, LA colors that I was talking about. They're really light and it's hard to put a lot of coats on with it. But I did my zebra paint with with um, three coats of this. And I just did the zebra on that. I'll probably make a tutorial on that. You can request that. Let's get back to the questions, okay? Um, what's your favorite polymer clay brand? Sculpey 3, without a doubt. How many siblings do you have? Uh, it's me, my David, you know, you know, um, my, my brother, he's in videos a lot, and my little tiny brother, Johnny, he's three, and my, and David's seven, so two siblings. And those were all by Louis Beads, so I hope I answered them correctly. And now let's get to the last question. When did you start making polymer clay creations? It's the same one as... When did you, didn't you start playing with polymer clay? But I did it about a year ago, more Rocks. Um, when did you start making polymer clay? Yeah, a year ago. Yeah, pretty much. Let me think. Yeah, about a year ago, really. I'm, I'm really excited about that because, like, I love doing polymer clay, and I can't believe it's a year already. And I hope I answered all your questions. And yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, and. Yeah, and I probably will do another um, asking questions video. Like, I'll ask you guys to ask me questions, but you can ask them on and off whenever you want to on my videos. I know you guys probably do that already, but I only counted the one, the, the video that I did, um, ask me questions one more day. I counted the questions on that, and then I, and then I counted the questions on ask me questions, because I didn't know you guys were going to do it on the ask me questions one more day. And yeah, right, comment, and subscribe. Um, and you can ask more questions whenever you want, and I'll probably do another questions video. Right, come and subscribe. Hope you guys answered. I hope I answered your questions right. Bye, guys.